My name is Shaheen Marani, and I'd like to welcome you to Islamic Bedtime Stories. Today, I'm going to read you a story from Adventures of a Quranic Family, which is published by Sun Behind the Cloud Publications. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Waiting for Tomatoes. Mariam ran to the kitchen where her father was waiting for her and entered with a little jump and skip. Earlier that week, they had gone to buy some seeds and pots. Spring was here and they were going to grow some tomatoes. Mariam was really excited. They had been talking about the coming of spring and the idea of planting and growing vegetables at nursery as well. And besides, she loved tomatoes. Daddy pulled up a chair for Mariam to stand on so she could reach the kitchen counter and sink. He then showed Mariam how to put some soil into a small pot, add the tomato seeds into the soil, and then water it until it was nice and moist. Mariam carefully did what she was told and then placed the pot on a windowsill where it would get plenty of sunlight. This would help it grow, grow, grow. By the time they had finished, it was time for the afternoon prayers. Mariam followed daddy upstairs and prayed Zohar with him, but then decided to color instead of praying Asr. Dad said it was okay and gave her a hug for trying. After some lunch, Mariam ran to the pot she had placed near the windowsill, but was really sad to see that nothing had sprouted yet. Nothing's happened yet, Daddy. I think these seeds don't work, she complained to her dad. Her dad smiled and came to stand next to her. Plants take a long time to grow, sweetheart. First, it will start growing under the soil where we can't see it. Then it will come out and we will be able to see something very small. Then it will take a long time before it can grow nice and big and is able to produce fruit. After that, slowly come the tomatoes. They will first be green and small and then red, juicy and big, inshallah. You will need to have lots of patience and wait. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Inna Allah ma'asabirin. Surely Allah is with the patient. Chapter Baqarah, verse 153. This means that although we may want things to happen quickly, sometimes it is better if we wait. And when we are patient and wait nicely, Allah loves that and is closer to us. Mariam thought about that. Hmm, she really wanted to make Allah happy. So she decided she would try to wait patiently for the plants to grow without complaining. But just in case she forgot, she asked her father to remind her every now and then. Mariam checked the plants eagerly every day. About a week later, she saw a little seedling had pushed its way out from the soil. Daddy showed her how to water the plant every day to help it grow. When the seedling was big enough, they moved it to a bigger pot. Spring soon became summer and Mariam helped Daddy move the plant pot outside to the garden as the weather was now hot enough for the plants to grow outside. Although the plants were slowly growing nice and big and had developed many leaves, Mariam began to grow tired of waiting for the tomatoes. She went to her father and asked if she could stop helping him with the tomato plant. When her father asked her why, Mariam replied, Every day we water the tomato plant, but I don't see anything happen. I'm tired of waiting, Daddy. I give up. Her father leant down and looked at her. MashaAllah, Mariam, 
You have done really well by waiting and having patience for this long. I know Allah is very happy with you. But did you know another meaning of patience is to keep on trying? So even if things seem really long and hard, Allah loves it when we keep on trying. It is nearly time for the fruits to come. I'm sure if you keep taking good care of the plant, we will see some tomatoes soon. Okay, replied Mariam reluctantly. I guess I can keep on trying if it makes Allah happy. Daddy gave her a hug and they both went to get water to feed the plant together. A few more days passed and little flowers began to bloom on the plant. Then one day Mariam ran excitedly inside shouting for Daddy to come outside to the garden. He quickly came outside and Mariam showed him the plant where small green balls were growing in the middle of the flower. They're here! The tomatoes are here, Daddy! squealed Mariam. Yes, alhamdulillah, the tomatoes have started to grow. But they still aren't ready to eat, Mariam. They're still raw and need a few more weeks to grow big and red. But Mariam could not wait any longer. She quickly picked one off the flower and popped it in her mouth before her father could stop her. As she bit into it, a bitter taste filled her mouth and made her face scrunch up. It was horrible. Yuck, she said as she spat it out. Mariam, exclaimed her father. What did I just say? It's not ripe yet. You forgot. I know, I know, interrupted Mariam. And they both laughed as they recited. Inna Allah ma'as-sabirin. Surely Allah is with the patient. Sorry, Daddy, Mariam apologized. I just couldn't wait anymore. Well, I think you did really well by waiting all this time, MashaAllah, replied Daddy. Not too long to go now, you watch. Sure enough, a few weeks later, the tomatoes had ripened. They carefully picked and washed them. Mariam was about to pop one into her mouth when she had a thought. Daddy, could I wait until Muhammad and Fatima get back from Madrasa to eat them? It would be nice if we all tried them together. Fatima and Muhammad, Mariam's elder siblings, had gone to madrasa as they did every Sunday. Mariam was about to start next term as she was going to be four soon. She was really looking forward to it. Of course, laughed her dad. Now that's what I call patience. Later in the afternoon, they all sat down in the garden to eat the fresh tomatoes. Delicious, alhamdulillah, laughed Mariam, tomato juice running all the way down her chin. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope that we, like Mariam, can also display patience when we need to. Please do consider making a donation to Noor Orphans. This is the month of Ramadan, the month of giving, the month of mercy. Together, we can make a big difference, inshallah. Thank you for joining us today and inshallah see you again soon. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.